Film is a vital part of the team's preparation, and today I'm getting all the info from our three-time conference video coordinator of the year, Phil Kane. I'm Kaylee Charlie Bulls Insider. As your role as director of football video, what does that entail? So we handle everything in the aspects of the coaches' film with all 22. We're filming the sideline shots, the end zone shots, the field level shots, everything that the coaches are going to use to game plan against our opponent or make ourselves better. They're constantly grading anything that we film. They're grading for our players. They're showing it to them. We're getting it up in our system as quick as we possibly can so that post-game or post-practice, they can immediately come upstairs and just continually, every day, improve our players and our team. Leading up to a game, what does a practice look like? Take me through it. Okay, so we've got a staff of 14 guys, uh, and every morning uh, the analysts or GAs will get us a practice schedule for the day. We'll, uh, we'll map it out. We'll meet about 45 minutes before actual practice time. We'll go over what everybody's going to shoot, what angles need to be had, and what fields we're going to be on. And then we have to map out which points of practice we're going to drop each card so what we do is in each camera we have an SD card that goes in we've got about six SD cards per camera so during practice we're dropping anywhere from four to six times depending on the day to get the practice film in as quick as possible so that when they come off the field they're ready to rock and roll and watch the film. How quickly are coaches able to see the film after practice? After practice they're able to watch probably the first 75 percent of it immediately and within 20 minutes they can watch the entire practice. How does your process differ on the road as it does okay. at home? All right, on the road it's a little different because we don't have our server. So everything that we work off of is one editor for the entire game. So I'll edit the entire game, sideline and two end zone shots. We shoot a wide end zone that has all the 22 guys on the field at any given time and then we have a tight end zone shot. We also have the sideline angle that films the scoreboard and the sideline, which we call the all 22. We piece all of that together quarterly, and at the end of the game, we'll get all the coaches' laptops and iPads. We'll kick out on the hard drives and put it on their computer. So in probably within 45 minutes after the game, the coaches are showered, coming out, and we're handing them their computers or their iPads. Now I was with you this morning. Walk me through what that process was from the hotel before you get to the stadium. All right, so when we get to the hotel, we'll set up a few meeting rooms projectors, computers, we'll load everything that we need that the coaches are going to watch with our team. We play a highlight and we've got about 15 minutes from the time the highlight ends to pack up speakers, subwoofer, projector, power, everything in the whole room, load it on the case and run out to the bus without anyone knowing the difference. And we load it on and get on the bus and off we go. So it's, it's a quick turnaround, but we got pretty good at it. Did it! And what does the breakdown process look like post-game? Post-game? Um, well, I'll have to show you. It's probably two full tables full of almost 30 computers and iPads, and it's just madness for about 45 minutes of getting it on there, but it's, it's controlled madness. We're, uh, we know what we're doing, so it's, it's quick, but we're good at it.